good morning. We are currently on the Seven Mile Bridge, driving south from Key Largo down to Big Pine Key to meet up with my buddy Joe from Sea Fear. I think the plan is to do a little bit of diving, maybe some spear fishing. I don't know if we're gonna fish or not, but I do know we're gonna have a good time. Seven Mile Bridge is a long, long bridge. I have no idea how long it actually is, but it's got a great view. Okay, our first stop is Strike Zone. I think we're stopping here to get our tanks filled. Make it look like you're doing all the work. Where's my help? Ooh, I'll help you in a second. Where's I gotta get help? I gotta get filler footage. Let the old guy. Unload tanks, I see. Going for the leap of faith. I know, really. <laughs> The first thing we do is look for some lobster on the gulf side. I start scouting for a ledge free diving and then we put on our tanks. You flip, you know that kid in the box in the truck? All right, I'm good to go. Let's see what's down here. You can keep him, but he's too small. I think I might want to put my tank on. It's tank time. Tank time. Still got a lobster yet? <laughs> I'm enjoying my time. snacks 
something. We move to the Atlantic side to do some spear fishing. This time I'm only free diving so I can move nice and fast. The tail almost, right there. Almost 18. Joe also got a hogfish. I give him my lobster and take both hogfish home for an epic catch and cook. But before we cook, I have one more fish to shoot. I spot a nurse shark under a rock and notice it has a hook in its mouth, so I try and remove it. Mr. Shark was getting a bit irritated with me, so I let him be. Hooks usually rust away in a week, so until then, he'll have a cool lip ring to show his friends. try something a little fancy today. Joe gave me a recipe, a fancy recipe, and basically what we're gonna do is chop up sweet potatoes and I'm going to boil them and we're basically gonna make like a mashed sweet potatoes. And we're gonna take the hog snapper, the hog fish, not hog snapper, and we're gonna create a sauce with lemons, capers, butter, salt, and heavy whipping cream. He's ready to eat some fish. Oh, he knows it's cooking time, you can tell he's already looking around. He's going to lose his absolute nuts when he sees the hogfish. We got all of our sweet potatoes chopped up. We're going to take them and just drop them into that boiling water. Ooh, you know what? Grab them all at once. <laughs> there we go. Time to flay some fish. The best part about fishing is flaying the fish. Some nice looking hog snapper. <sighs> some nice looking hogfish. <laughs> What species again? How does that work? Here's a nice fresh piece of hogfish. <laughs> 
This hog snapper has some super white meat. <laughs> I need to stop calling it hog snapper. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hogfish. This hogfish has some very nice white meat. We'll save this stomach meat for the cat. Oh, who wants some fresh fish? Okay. Yeah, that's his first hogfish. We got all the fish filleted. Can you tell the difference between the mangrove snapper and the two hogfish? Can you see the difference on camera? Yes. Very clear. So, so the hogfish is a very white meat and the mangrove snapper is a little... Pinker. Yeah, a little pinker. It could probably have been whiter if we would have bled it, but the hogfish weren't bled either. So that's just how it is. So what I'm doing now is making the breading and what I'm going to do is I put all these flaked Almonds. Almonds. Flaked almonds. Thank you, Caitlin. But they need to be crushed, so I've just been sitting here crushing them. So I'll crush them a little bit longer, and then once these are fully crushed, I'm going to add a little bit of flour and salt and pepper. The sweet potatoes, the water's not even boiling yet. But you know what? Mark my words, one day I will have a nice kitchen with a nice stove top that makes the water boil quickly. We're just not there yet. I mix the almonds with a little bit of flour and salt and pepper, and we're gonna bread the fish in that. We got our sweet potatoes. They're nice and soft. They've been like half boiling now for a while. This is the sweet potato. We're gonna make like a mashed sweet potato, but it's real soft, like. Mm. We're just gonna mash all that up. We're gonna end up laying the fish on top of it. Heat up the skillet, get it real nice and hot, put a little bit of butter in there. Oil and butter, piping hot on the cast iron skillet. Got our breading. I will drop in two, three pieces of hog fish. Right, Caitlin? Hog. I, am, I almost said it. I, yeah. almost said, I almost said the other one because you've been messing me up this whole time. Then we take our breaded crushed almond flour, salt and pepper. Drop it in there. And three. So now while that is cooking, we're going to make the sauce, which is half a stick of butter. This is more than half a stick, but uh, that's how we do it here. As they say, mo butter, mo better. And then put in one of these eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. Joe told me to put in a cup. I have no idea if this is a cup, but it probably is. I used a little bit for my coffee earlier too. Then we're gonna put in these big arch garlic cloves. Came from this garlic. Six cloves and some capers. So we'll drop that in there. A little bit of lemon zest. That's plenty. And then we're just gonna squeeze these four lemons into it. We'll bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. Good work, Kayla. Is that the last lemon? I hope so. Come on. Hey, go. There's one more lemon left. Joe never mentioned anything about wine being inside of the sauce, but There we go. Gotta change it up a little, right? I'm gonna pour you a glass too. Thanks, babe. Whoops. Hello. I'm pouring like a rock star. Oh my star. gosh, you're Ooh. Holy smoke. Looking good, smells Beautiful. good. Beautiful. Mm. The most important part of cooking is to stay well hydrated. Good choice on the Chardonnay, Caitlin. Target. Target? Seriously. You can buy wine at Target? Of course. They have a whole aisle just for wine. Do you spend a lot of time in that aisle? Step one to making a beautiful plate. We're gonna add the sweet potatoes as the base. You're gonna have to eat a lot, Caitlin. That's, yeah, that's both of those portions are giant, but okay. Bring the fish over. That's one hog snapper. I mean hog fish. Oh, God. Hi. It's a hog fish. Hog fish, it's I know. It's not a snapper. And I'll give you one mangrove snapper. Okay. One hog fish. And one mangrove snapper. Something I learned here just now. This sauce, I don't even think is ready. It's still very watery. 
but it tastes great and we don't have any time so next time start simmering your sauce before you start cooking your fish It's gonna be so good like that. Yeah, it'll still be okay. It's gonna be so good. There we go. Perfect. You too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who the heck is learning about respiratory systems? Probably Caitlin, so she can figure out how to choke me to death. Physical examination, health assessments. Here's an assessment. This fish is dead. You can eat trash. If there's a candle lit at the table, it's going to taste good. And wine. Oh! My candle went out. That was weird. The fish was too good for the candle. You take the first bite. That's like to die for. Yeah. So amazing. It has like the sweetness with it, like mixed. Oh my gosh. This is Joe's recipe. It took a while to cook, too. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. To die for. <laughs> Where's the gun? Let's end it. Michael, We've had the best no. we can ever have. How are we ever going to be able to top this? This should be a recipe at every restaurant. Where did Joe come up with this? Yeah, Joe. Joe. <laughs> Joe. Okay. Oh my god, you weren't kidding about his belly being full. Look at how swollen it is. He ate so much fish while we were cooking. Look at that belly. So cute. That's a cat, by the way. I finished my plate way before Caitlin. I feel like I'm not even close. <laughs> You're gonna eat that. And that's, and that's how the story ends. What do you gotta say, Caitlin? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Here you go. Oh no, cat's drinking toilet water. Caitlin, well, I'm he scared. is He's in the completely toilet. inside the toilet right okay, now. Okay, well, what do I do? I don't know. Kitty, Elliot. Elliot, Captain. Captain Elliot, Kitty, get out of that yeah. toilet bowl.